Alright, so here's where I'm at right now. Uh, I finished quite a bit of it. Um, unfortunately, the, the edges didn't come out as well as I wanted to, especially these round ones here. So I ended up having to use a Dremel, which is pretty much just like a super fast spinning tool. And pretty much just sanded out the edges to make it look in, a little bit nicer on the round areas there. Um, I did use it for areas where it's like there was just enough paper to make it difficult to use an X-Acto knife to just shave it off. Uh, but yeah, it worked really well. I don't know if this is just a tool that everyone has, but it's, uh, it's a useful one. Alright, so we're about to go paint this guy and then add on the decorations for the handle part right there. Got all the duct tape on it. So, uh... Or not duct tape, I'm sorry, the, the painter's tape. And then, yeah, it was it was really annoying to get the circles right here. Uh, but what I ended up doing, I just cut circles from the tape and then just pretty much put it over and prayed that uh, it would cover the edge of the sword. But yeah, it looks good. So, we'll take this guy to paint. Swords and the cutout pieces that are going to go on the the part right here for the guard um, and we are outside and we're gonna paint these guys so let's see how that goes alright so I just applied the first layer of paint on one side of the sword um, I ended up using this one the paint and primer for the semi-gloss black I just found this at a Meyer the other day and I was like yeah semi-gloss that would be really good um, so yeah I got that and the design parts for the guard and we're just gonna wait for it to dry. Alright, so things did not go according to plan. It started to rain a little bit. Um, and I don't know if you can see it really well since the, the gloss kind of hides any sort of water that got on there. Um, is that one? No, that's not. But yeah, it started to rain, so uh, I had to move back inside real quick. Um, hopefully it still dries out the same, though. Uh... If anything, I used like a small like toilet paper tissue to just try and get out the water, but sometimes it would leave marks like that on there. Um, so hopefully it all still comes out all right, but I'll let you guys know. All right, so I went ahead and uh, peeled off the edges for the design part just to see what it would look like. Um, and as you can see, there are obviously some touch-up details that I need to do. The painter's tape, I guess, didn't hold it back as much as I would have wished. Um, but luckily, the paint looks awesome, though. The glossy paint that was used, it looks great. But yeah, I just have to touch up on the on the edges so that they look perfectly white. Um, but aside from that, that's how the painting worked out. Um, let's see how it worked out for the sword. As I peeled off the tape, I ran into a snag where that part was just way too much white space. Uh, so I'm just going to try and paint over, or just put painter's tape over the that specific area, and then just trying to repaint it. So if you can see here, I'm just going to put that back down, just angle it right. Hang on. Yeah, I'll show you guys in just a second. Hang on. Alright, so there you go. So I just put it over that spot and then just spray paint it over it. Um, in order to try and make sure it didn't get over the other parts that I thought were already good, I just kind of put a piece of paper over it and then just sprayed like that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this turns out alright. Um, as you can see as we go down the line here, there are, you know, all those tiny little nicks that I'm going to have to get out with, you know, just a paintbrush and some white paint. Uh, but that's not really that big of a problem. Uh, yep. Oh, I had to redo the tip too, so there's some wet paint there too. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully this will be done by tonight. After removing the painter's tape and doing a lot of detailing with uh, extra spray paint, some paint brushes, and the acrylic white paint for the edges, we finally get it to look like this, which is amazing. So I just got to let it dry a little bit since I just detailed it. Add these guys to the top of it. And then we're good. Yeah, then we we are done. All right. So, let's give it some time to dry.